Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Malone, and I know I'm not usually on your screens on Wednesday nights here on TCM, but this week, Jacqueline Stewart and I have taken over to bring you a spotlight on women at work. Each night this week, we're watching movies that highlight some of the progress and challenges women in business have faced, and tonight our focus is on the 1950s. At this time, women accounted for about 30% of the labor force, and the most common job for a woman was a secretary. And that's what the women do in our next film from 1959. It's the best of everything. Hope Lang stars as Caroline, a young, ambitious woman who gets a job working as a secretary at a publishing company, where she has to deal with the lecherous head of the company, played by Brian Ahern, and a tough female editor, played by Joan Crawford. But Caroline has allies in two other secretaries, Greg, an aspiring actress played by Susie Parker, and the sweet April played by our dear friend at TCM, Diane Baker. There are many risque ideas that are touched upon here, including adultery, pregnancy out of wedlock, women choosing a career over a man, and dodging unwanted advances from male bosses. Producer Jerry Wald had bought the rights to the original book while it was still in galley form, hoping for a repeat of his previous success with the similarly themed Peyton Place. From 1959, also with Martha Heyer, Stephen Boyd, Louis Jordan and Robert Evans, about a decade before he became the head of production at Paramount Pictures, this is the best of everything. Joan Crawford had been promised a flashy moment in The Best of Everything with producer Jerry Wald giving her character a big drunken scene. But that ended up on the cutting room floor, as did quite a bit of her performance. Crawford was also told that she could introduce the trailer, but Crawford, who always made the most of every business opportunity, tried to sneak in a bottle of Pepsi in her shot. That trailer was scrapped and Crawford's next film would be Whatever Happened to Baby Jane from 1962, where she and Betty Davis proved they still had enough star power to top the box office, even though Hollywood thought they were past their prime. And not long after Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, Joan Crawford was cast in another horror movie, Straight Jacket, and remembering how kind Diane Baker was to her on the set of The Best of Everything, she asked for Baker to be cast as her daughter. Next on TCM's Women at Work Spotlight, Catherine Hepburn proves that she is smarter than a computer in a 1957 comedy also starring Spencer Tracy. Next on TCM, Desk Set, then Lucy Gallant, and later, the Fuller Brush Girl. Lucille Ball brings home the bacon tonight. <laughs> 